launching in three, two, one. Although it might look like a toy, this styrofoam airplane is the latest technology the men and women of the Austin and Wimberley Fire Department are using to assist in search and rescue. You're looking at, depending on where you are inside an hour, we can have them good information. Uh, we can give them verbal information as we look at the air, uh, at the images there in the van with the computer. We have people in there that are looking at them as we collect them. They can call and say, hey, we've got a hit right here. So it can be literally a matter of minutes before they get notification that something needs to be needs attention. The Austin Fire Department has formed the Robotic Emergency Response Team, also known as the Red Team, to assist in finding victims on the ground and to help make critical decisions during an event. What we're looking at is two different types of authorizations. Gene has an operational authorization where he can go fly uh, during an actual event. What the Austin Fire Department currently has is authorization to train under a given set of circumstances. We've now moved out of Let's look around and let's try and figure out what type of uh, system and equipment can best suit our needs to the actual application. How can we best apply this technology once we've got it in our possession? It's a matter of building the infrastructure and making sure that we are in good communication with our manned aircraft constituents, uh, laying the foundation and the groundwork. We really want to do everything right. Right now, we're, we're in the research and development phases of our, of our existence, our program, and we have been for a little over a year. Uh, the, all the information that we're taking in and the successful stories that we've been able to, to find through this is all indicating this is a go. We really need to be able to, to look at the, the next step, which will be going into operations at some point. As with all new technologies, the drone program has been the source of new concerns from the public, hacking being one of them. The team recognizes how crucial it is and are optimistic of the future. Hacking in the classic sense, coming from my background and I've hacked before, uh, the, you can't hack it, you can spoof it, but you can't hack it. You can kind of make it think it needs to go in a different area, but you can't actually take over control of the aircraft. These have frequency, uh, uh, spread, spe spread spectrum frequency hopping radios. So you'd have to have a pretty sophisticated piece of equipment to be able to latch on to that and, and do something different with it. The public has got to be behind us. We have to have everybody watching this piece feel comfortable with us uh, following the policy and procedure, us using this equipment in the right way to make a difference in their lives. That's the next step.